excited I get to share the big God story with you today from Daniel chapter 6. We're about to discover that God is real. Well, that sounded pretty amazing. God is real. But finding the clue I left you has been so hard. Let me check one more locker. Whoa! Did you hear that sound? Do you know what animal makes that noise? You're right. It's a lion. And today God is going to show us that he is very real by using lions in the story. Do me a favor. Turn to someone sitting near you and tell them what story you think you're about to hear from God's big story. Well, last week in God's story, you heard about how his people had been taken from their homeland to another country far away. And one of the people taken was a man named Daniel. Now, Daniel had become very important to King Darius of the lands. He'd been given many jobs and he faithfully completed all of them. Daniel was known for being smart and strong and a steady worker. And because of all of that, King Darius in Daniel chapter 6, verse 5, decides that Daniel should receive a promotion. And he declares that Daniel would now be the ruler of all his lands. Well, this was a big job. Woo -woo, way to go, Daniel. But not everyone was happy for Daniel. There were other men in the court who were very disappointed that Daniel, a foreigner, would be put in charge of all the king's land. So they decided to plot and make a plan against Daniel to get him out of the king's court. But these men watched Daniel for weeks doing the work that he was called to do by King Darius, and they could find nothing wrong. But they did discover one thing about Daniel. Daniel was remaining very faithful to his God, to the one true God. And every day he prayed three times a day asking God for his wisdom and his protection. Well, the men now had a new idea. They knew they'd never get Daniel in trouble with King Darius because of his work, because he did everything with such excellence, but they could get Daniel in trouble maybe by breaking one of the king's laws. But they were gonna have to have the king make this new law. So the three men went to King Darius's court and they started giving him compliments about how wise he is and how handsome he is. And after a while, the king's head was kind of big. And when they had him at just the right point, they said, oh, King Darius, you should create a new law that states that no one can pray to any other God or man except for you for the next 30 days. And if they do, they will be thrown into the lion's den. Well, King Darius, hearing this idea from these three men, decided that sounded pretty good. It made him feel super important to have this law be focused on him. So he signed it and he made it official. And the news went out across the land. But guess what? Daniel continued to do all his work faithfully in honor of the king. But he also chose to faithfully still pray to the one true God. And when the men saw Daniel praying to the one true God and Daniel was trusting God, they suddenly took this news to King Darius. They got to the court and they said, oh, King Darius, Daniel, your favorite, your faithful servant has broken your law and he must be thrown into the lion's den. Well, this broke Darius's heart, but it was his law and it couldn't be changed. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. But before the door was closed, King Darius shouted down to Daniel, may the God you serve save you. Well, that night Darius could not sleep. He tossed and he turned and he woke in fits, worried about Daniel and the lions. But at daybreak, he ran to the lion's den. And as soon as the stone had been rolled away, he shouted down, Daniel, did your God save you? And guess what? Nothing. At least it probably felt like minutes before Daniel shouted up to the king, King, my God saved me. He sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions and to protect me from any harm because my God knew I was innocent of anything against you, my king. 
Well, upon hearing these words from Daniel, King Darius declared Daniel's God to be the one true, living, real God in all of the lands. And he made a new law that proclaimed that. Friends, it is still true for us today. God is real. He is the living God. And he is available to us every day. Will you do me a favor before I leave you today? Will you place your hands like this and hear these words from 2 Samuel 7.22 as I speak them over you? God, you are great. There is no other God like you. We know this to be true because we have heard the stories. Amen? Thanks for being with me, friends.